Today I'm going to show you how to get an Airbnb investment property in the city of Cleveland. I'm going to show you how to make this investment passive. I'm going to show you how to get free tax money from the government. This is a whole freaking Cleveland Airbnb package of goodies all wrapped into one. So sit down and let's rock and roll. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I am your host, James Wise, and this is the place where we help investors like you invest in real estate now today's show is for my man jose jose you're an investor from florida and you're interested in passive airbnb investing now if you're out there you're watching this show right now on your iphone or whatever a couple things you need to know number one the property i'm going to discuss with jose you can't buy it i sent it to him privately months ago i only released this stuff publicly on holton wise tv after the fact number two what I'm about to teach you is stuff you could utilize in any market in the United States of America. But if you want to go one step further and you want to do this stuff with me, with my team like Jose's doing, you got to buy properties in the Cleveland market, right? Because the Cleveland market is where my team is at. Sold over $200 million worth of investments here. We run the largest investment portfolio of its kind in the Cleveland market. And we help people like Jose, people like you, uh, buy these properties. We give you the education, and then we handle all the on-the-ground stuff, right? So what I'm going to do now is go into a property that's going to be priced under 300 k right? Because, Jose, you said you wanted to do a high-end luxury Airbnb property, but you didn't want to spend more than $300,000. So you sent me this one that is priced where you want it to be, and you wanted my take on it, which is what I'm going to do right now, right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up the property, right? This, I like this one, right? This has got a lot of things in it that's going to make us money, right? Let's start with the address. 2194 West 30th, Cleveland, 44113. 299900 Been on the market 19 days. Let us see what the listing agent had to say about this. Gorgeous updated home in the historic district of Ohio City. Featuring a fully renovated kitchen complete with granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, and tile flooring. The space is certain to be an entertainer's dream. First floor master is complete with hardwood floors and both bathroom and laundry access. Perfect for all centralized first floor living buyer preferences. Two spacious bedrooms on the second floor, full-size two-car garage, and additional backyard space. A true rarity in Ohio City. And folks, Ohio City, Ohio City, that's the key to this whole investment. All right, more on that in a little bit. Complete this wonderful Ohio City gem. Further, a brand new fully fenced in electronic gate system offers a twofold sense of luxury and added privacy and security. Furnace, hot water tank, AC, roof, plumbing, and electrical are all newer as well. Don't miss out on this incredible Ohio City home close to downtown Gordon Square and Market District. Now, Ohio City, folks, that is the key to this investment, okay? This property is in Ohio City. When you hear about the resurgence of Cleveland. Cleveland having new developments, new things happening, expensive things happening, right? It's happening in very few select specific neighborhoods in the Cleveland market where there is massive amounts of investment, both from corporations and from the government. Ohio City, Tremont, Gordon Square, Edgewater, these are where the big money is going. These are the neighborhoods that are gentrifying, right? One of the things that's really helping development in these areas, really making gentrification possible, is the 15-year tax abatement on new construction, right? New construction homes 
in Cleveland get a 15-year tax payment. That means you don't have to pay taxes on the house you build. You still got to pay taxes on the lot, but in Cleveland, lots aren't really worth very much. This property, right, this also fell under that, okay? Uh, what you can do when you do these tax abatements is you can either do complete brand new top to bottom construction or you can do a renovation, but the renovation has to essentially be almost top to bottom. Like it's got to be to the whole nines. It's got to be uh, green home compliant, right? So you're essentially taking a home and tearing it down to just basically the foundation and essentially building a brand new home, right? That's almost what they did here. So they were able to qualify. So I know I'm going to get a lot of investors out there that like want to know, oh, I do it. Uh, if I repaint my living room gray and uh, get rid of the carpet and refinish the hardwoods, do I get a tax abatement? No, motherfucker! You don't get a fucking tax abatement for that. You're pretty much tearing it all down and totally redoing it, right? Like, essentially, honestly, it's more cost prohibitive to completely bulldoze the home and then just build brand new, right? But some people, uh, they like to keep the architectural integrity and artistic, I don't know. It's honestly more cost effective. Like, if you're trying, if your goal is to get this tax abatement, you just tear the fucker down and start totally over, right? It, it, it doesn't save you money by keeping some of the existing structure. But that's what these folks chose to do, and they did this several years ago, right? This tax abatement on this particular property has got two more years left, right? You get completely tax abated all of 22 and all of 2023, right? Which is really going to help our cash on cash returns, right? Because we're going to take this, turn this into an Airbnb because... People pay a ton of money to be in Ohio City, right? When people come to the Cleveland market, they want to be close to downtown. They want to be close to all the happening stuff, right? The Q, the casino, the Browns, the Indians, all of it, right? Ohio City is right down in there. This is like where you want to be, man. This is where things are happening. And they're right. You usually don't get backyard space in Ohio City, right? This is quite nice, okay? The home, it's not completely brand new, uh, but again, it had that complete overhaul renovation, so most everything feels like it's new or roughly about like 10 to 12, 13, 13 years or so, right? That's when they did this uh, whole top to bottom complete overhaul on this property, right? So with that said, your taxes are only going to be 665.14 because you don't pay taxes on the building. You're just paying it on the lot. Now, that's all well and good. How much are we going to make, right? Well, this is a 3-2. And we should be able to rent it for about three and a quarter every single night, right? Because it's not complete luxury. It's not like the full-on big, large space with super ultra luxury. Like, it's pretty nice, but we're really leaning more so on the location here to increase our, our nightly rents, right? We're not really, like, wowing them. Like, you could definitely, uh, if you buy some, like, newer construction with two-story living rooms, like, brand new construction, I'm talking more luxury properties for a higher price point, you could definitely give people, like, more of a wow factor. We're not going to give them, like, an extreme wow factor here, right? I'm not planning a major renovation to, to really give them a wow factor. So we're still going to get a healthy nightly rent rate but in this neighborhood we can still etch that up above 400 uh with more luxurious spaces but what we're going to do with this one is keep the costs down okay so 325 a night that'd be 10,075 for the month but of course you ain't renting it every single night folks that's not how it's going to work right we're going to factor in 38 percent of vacancy because that's the historic vacancy rate uh airbnb sees in this area okay so with all that said uh, 10,075 would be scheduled to come in, but in reality, we're going to lose 6320 on that through vacancy and operating expenses, right? So the net operating income on this will be 3,754 a month, 67 on average. That's an average. That's an average estimate of a little bit over 45k for the year. Now, as far as the purchase price, right? They're asking 2999. I think it's a great property. I think it's in a great neighborhood. I don't want you to pay 2999. I think it's a little high. I think we should come in at 275. Now, to get it fully up and uh, ready to roll, we got to spend 25 G's furnishing it, right? You can't do an Airbnb without furnishings. And then I'm factoring in about 10 grand, right? Because we have newer stuff here, right? But they renovated everything about 10 years ago, right? So we're going to want to freshen it up with some paint and stuff. We're not going insane. We're not, like, gutting that kitchen. It's, it's all well and good, right? It's a nice budget rental with a luxury uh, neighborhood that's really – uh, driving people there. But, like, you know, if we're talking hotels, right, we're not offering them a five-star hotel here. Maybe we're offering, like, a four-star, right? So, all told, the investment should run us 
about 310 Gs, right? So all you need to do is put up 103, which is going to be a $68,000 down payment, plus your 10K in rehab, just sprucing it up, 25K in furnishings, right? We'll get the bank to kick in about 206000 That, folks, would pencil out to an average annualized cash on cash return of around 33.4%, right? So if you're thinking about investing in real estate, you definitely want to look at Airbnb because the amount of money we are able to make on these properties is typically higher than long-term buy and hold if we are in the luxury markets, which this absolutely is, right? Because that's where knowing your market, knowing the neighborhoods in the city of Cleveland, that's where it's super important. That's where I, of course, come in. Like from a national space, you might not know how much better Ohio City is than something like Old Brooklyn, right? How much more uh, desirable it's going to be, how much more demand you're going to get for short-term rentals, things of that nature. That is what I do. But this one, definitely going to be a winner if we can pick it up for that price. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.